Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Liverpool. This is a plaque to commemorate the very first mosque ever in the UK. It's right outside Brom Terrace in Liverpool, West Derby District. This is the house, which is behind me now, founded by a convert called Brother Willem. He changed his name from William Henry Quillam to Abdullah Quillam, and he became the first sheikh of the entire UK. Having gone to Morocco, he became a convert and then established this place as the first mosque in the early 1800s. Shall we now go inside the building? This is the building of the first mosque. Excuse me, gentlemen, we're filming from Malaysia and whatever, spreading the word. This was the first room for the Sheikh Abdul Quillam when he had his meetings in this first room here. If we go in, we would say that this used to be where the Imam, which is Sheikh Abdul Quillam, used to have his first meetings in the 1800s. And there are other rooms behind where he did instructions and where he took classes and where he did shahadas and other meetings. We'll go to the exterior of the house. Excuse us for doing this This is the upstairs apartment, which was once classrooms or madrasa for the Islamic group of Liverpool. We also had in this building orphanage. We also had in this building poor people being fed. And down below stairs, we had a printing room and a fully established kitchen, which fed the poor of Liverpool for many, many years. That's down there. We now go to the main part. These are some of the instruction rooms where they used to have talks classes and lessons. They were also held upstairs. And we now go to the main body of the building, which is where the original prayer part of the mosque was built. This is the original prayer part of the building. This is where all the main prayers were said from the 1800s. Muslims and non-Muslims were both invited to pray in this room together because William Quillam was a convert. He therefore invited people from overseas. Sailors and people coming to the port of Liverpool were also welcome to stay here. It was also a sailor's hotel when they were home on leave. This was the main prayer room. It is as we speak being redone. The whole of the roof has had to be replaced because the chambers were rotten. And the whole of the room has had to be um, stripped down to the bare bricks because it was rotten with dry rot. If we go to the outside of the building, This used to be the staircase to the print room, which was held below stairs. That was the print rooms where they used to print a newspaper called the Crescent. If we carefully go into the garden, this is what obviously was. In those days, they used to use horse and carriage. So the horse and carriage would come through the big gates at the end into here and drop the rich people or people with money would be dropped here. Or you'd have a taxi or a hackney carriage which was also drawn by horses or you would walk here for those who didn't have money. If you look at the building, this is the outside of the building. It had to be dried out at the moment because it was extremely wet having flooded earlier in the year. From behind the building, you can see there is three floors up, plus an attic which makes four. 
and the cellars below which makes five. So we're buildings next door, but unfortunately during the last Second World War they were bombed by the Germans and this new building has taken their place. The original house, number eight, was the first house. Then came number ten, which we stand behind, and then came number twelve. There was also 14, 16, 18 and 20, but unfortunately some of them were lost from the bombing in the last war. These days we are hoping that if the building is restored, this will become the car park and also outdoor facilities for things like barbecues or outdoor parties or outdoor games for children and things of that sort. So we'll go back in the building now, shall we? And I think to finish our film off, I am here because I am born from Liverpool. But my grandparents came here as refugees in the 1800s and in their time my grandparents prayed in this very room. They were from the Lebanon. My mother is English and I'm mixed Liverpool, in Liverpool and Lebanese. So my English family were been here for many, many generations. But my mother met my father here in Liverpool and hence I'm half Liverpool and half Lebanese. So I've come here today to celebrate my Lebanese side of the family and commemorate with my grandparents the site which they once used to pray in and hopefully when our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren come they will once again be able to pray as they used to do and people from all over the world, I hope, will come here as a heritage from Liverpool. This is the very, very first mosque in UK and I would love to see it become a mosque again for the future. Muslim and non-Muslim would be more than welcome to come and visit it when it's hopefully, inshallah, restored to its former glory. If you can help us in any way, please contact us and let us know. Leave your name, leave your number, leave your contact. Someone will get back to you from the Abdul Quillam Society in Liverpool. Thank you very much.